Taking your video from this to this is actually simpler than you think. It doesn't matter if you're on a pro camera or a mobile phone, knowing these simple lighting techniques is gonna be the difference. So I'm gonna show you how. Before we get to the most important part, which is of course lighting, let's create some depth. If you are shooting against a wall, make sure you move as far away from it as you can. The other thing is we wanna get our f-stop all the way open or to as low of a number as we can. This is gonna create some nice separation behind us from our background, which is a good thing. While you're in your camera settings, make sure your ISO is not too high so that you're getting any noise or grain in your shot. To light a scene, we are gonna use these crazy little lights from Zion. They are so small, which is of course important to me because as you guys will know, I'm often on the road, traveling, lighting up some weird scenes inside my van or whatever it might be. But having these really small ones, yet so powerful is amazing. And let me just say, although I'm using these lights to light my interior YouTube studio setup, they actually can do some really crazy things. This Molus X100 is completely tiny with a battery grip and you can go out into the field and not even need power. As well as our second light from Zion, which is this Molus G60, a 60 watt absolute little powerhouse of a light that you can use with a power bank or the battery that comes with the Molus X100. So these lights are incredible you can do some amazing creative things and I'm looking forward to taking them out into the field and getting some really unique lit up shots outside in the real world environment. But for now, let's get back to our studio setup. So this is our square one without any of our lights. Let's make sure the first thing we do is get rid of any lights that we don't want, all of these house lights and maybe close our curtains if we don't want any light coming from the outside environment. So let's get this scene really dark. Okay, super dark. The only light that you guys are actually seeing right now is coming from my laptop. Let's start off with our key light, which is gonna be the X100. It's gonna light me up really nicely right here. That's our key light looking way better. It's just lighting me in. Now for something like my key light, I always like to get it slightly up and slightly to the side to create some nice even lighting on my face. If you guys want something more cinematic, you can push it off more to the side to create more of a contrasting light with darkness and shadow on the one side, maybe even getting a bit of the Rembrandt lighting with a triangle on the other side. I like to keep it somewhat straight on just so it's nice even light across my face. This is a YouTube talking head video, so I don't want it to be too crazy moody and cinematic. Diffusion is super, super important, and these little lights come with the cutest little soft boxes and domes. We have the soft box on this light just to create some soft light. If we didn't, you can see that it would be way too harsh and contrasty for our skin. So this little soft box is really nice to diffuse that light and just create that soft cast onto our face. If you don't have something to diffuse, you could always bounce it off a wall or the ceiling, but in my opinion, a soft box is gonna look the best. Next up is our hair light, and I'm gonna be using the 60 watt light just to fill in some space around here. So let's see the difference. So you can see by having that hair light, it just creates some of the separation here, a bit of a silver lining around the back of my head, especially off onto this dark, side and that is just another way that we can create separation with our background. We could use some diffusion on this but because I actually want quite a harsh little light as my hair light there's actually no diffusion on here although I could have used one of the really really cute little domes that you can get for these mini lights as well. It also looks quite nice but in the end I decided to go with no diffusion for the 60 watt Molus light. Next up let's look at our background because it's looking pretty plain and dull right now. First off, let's create some color. This is just a normal RGB light that you can pick up at any hardware store and you can get the full scale of RGB colors through it, super inexpensive, and we can chuck it in the background. This is our first practical light, meaning you can actually see it in frame and unlike our two Zion lights, they're not gonna be hidden off behind the camera or out of sight. This one, we got it right in there, slap bang adding to that vibe and creating more depth in our shot, having some light back there. Next, I'm gonna grab another little Zion 40 watt panel light to create some warm tones on the other side. I'm gonna set the white balance as warm as I can possibly go to be a nice contrasting color to this cold blue we have on our other side, and I'm just gonna shine it off into the wall. Right away, I think that looks pretty nice with the really warm tones over here and this cool tone here being nice and filled in. You can go as crazy as you want with colors and background colored lights, practicals or not, but 
I think a good idea to keep in mind is that you want to use opposing colors. The most obvious one I think for this is really warm and really cool tones, but you can also get more creative and look anywhere opposite on your color wheels. Maybe you want to do something like violet and green. Those are also going to work really nice with each other. You don't have to stick to it too hard. And if you've got two favorite colors that you really want to do in your lights, go for it. I'm gonna add one more little colored light, another warm one, just to light up this shelf here because it looks a bit dark and there's a bit too much dead space. So that's a bit better, just filling it in, keeping it nice and warm as well. All in all, I think this is looking pretty good. And if you were to take the side by side of what we started out with and compare it to this, I hope you would agree that this is looking much, much better. Remember, once you've set it up really nicely, you can pair it with a really nice cinematic color grade. And you can also do that by using one of my LUTs that you can find down below at a discounted rate. Otherwise, you can use your own color grade just to make sure that all these colors, contrast and light are popping really nicely. If you guys want to find out anything more about the Zion lights, they are all going to be linked in the top of the description. These lights are crazy for any travel videographers if you guys want to set up some studio spaces like this as well as having the option to actually shoot them out in the field battery operated and completely small yet powerful they're going to be amazing lights for you so check them out in the top of the description other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video have fun bye